This is my new LED yard light. It looks pretty good on the table. I tested it out and I'm going to hang this thing today. My old light just went out about a week ago. Um, I'm going to test this out on the table because it's going to be a nightmare to try to get up on a ladder on top of a pole and find out the light doesn't work and then have to take it back down or try to fix it up there. I'm not going to do that. So I've got an extension cord. It's plugged in. And I got the, the white and the black wires. They were pre-stripped about a quarter inch, but I stripped them a little more than that, closer to half an inch. And I'm going to just put those in this. Doesn't matter since it's AC, doesn't matter which one goes where, just one. And that one, the other one here. We'll carefully try to make sure they don't touch each other in the process. But they don't want to stay connected. We'll get that going here. Okay, now this light has a photo cell on it, and it's right here on the front. So, the light's already on, so what I'm going to do is, um, hopefully, don't get disconnected again while I'm scooting this over. I'm going to put a bright flashlight on that. And it's not going to turn off right away. It's going to take a minute, but we'll just watch and see. There, the light went out. Good. So the photo cell is working. Might be too much light in the room already for it to turn off. I don't know. Excuse me for it to turn back on. I'm just going to stick a rag over that and see if it makes it turn it back on. Well, i got a pretty bright light in the room here. Maybe that's it. Turn the light down dim and it comes back on. Guess that's too much light again. Maybe it just needs a while. But it is working. Before I go outside, I'll show this little bag of hardware it came with. It came with four screws, four washers, actually five washers. It only needs three screws and three washers, and it came with anchor, uh, these plastic anchors, if you're going to stick it in a wall, in a concrete wall, then you would uh, get a concrete bit and, um, and drill a hole and put these in there and then spread them out with these bolts. There's three mounting places on here. Remounting, so you just naturally you got to put the bottom ones on first. You hang the light on that, snug them down almost tight, so you can hang the light on there, and then you'll put the top one in last. At least that's what I'm planning on doing. These wire nuts, they're just going to be way too small. They'll work if I was wiring it onto existing. Um, small lightweight like this is like 16 gauge stranded wire and these nuts might be okay if I was wiring it onto that but it's not it's going to be wired into like 12 gauge solid wire so I won't be able to use those I'll just bring some different ones with me. that's the light over there got the ladder up against it I'm going to be on a metal ladder and 
The dirt is wet, so I'm definitely going to be grounded. I am not going to do this hot. No way. The switch to the light up there is inside the building. It's in the kitchen area in the breaker box, but I don't know which breaker it is. There's nothing on there I have to worry about. Just shut off this this uh, power right here. Shuts it all off. This is the light that I need to replace. And it looks like it may have the same mounting setup on it. I might be able to just use the original holes for that. I could probably fix this light by changing a bulb or maybe the the um, daylight sensor, can't think of what it's called right now, on top of it or something like that. Or it could even be a problem in the wiring down here. I'm sure it's not, but it's possible. I haven't tried to find out why it quit working. It's been cold. I've been getting home after dark from work, so I bought the new LED light. That's what we're going to put on instead of this mercury vapor light that takes a while to turn on. These two wires here that are insulated, like that one right there, it's got that connector in the middle, this one here. Both of those are the hot wires. I have to stay away from those while I'm working up there because those are not turned off. That comes from the pole. And this one is a ground or a neutral. It's both neutral and ground. That's going to give me the same connection I got standing on the ladder, so that's not going to bother me. In fact, I may wind up even hanging something on that wire or, or on that uh, clip that holds it onto the post just for temporary, just for to be handy to hold stuff. Zoom in one more time because I got a white wire and a green wire just hanging up there, wrapped around. Those are not connected to anything. I think I used those to help hold something in place while I was working up there and left them. But I couldn't say because it's been a number of years, maybe 12 years, something like that, since I put this pole in the ground and had power hooked up to it. Anyway, this pole, it does, it goes underground and then it goes over here and, and goes into the uh, into the little kitchenette area right there. And there's a breaker box in there that powers all the outlets to everything around the pond area. They're not like this at all. Very uncomfortable for me to be on a ladder. I'd much rather be in a bucket truck, but I don't have one. If you notice, I got these wire caps facing up like this so water doesn't lay inside of them. Because if they were upside down, they would definitely fill up with water. I'm going to take this piece of wire, it's over here, get it unwrapped from around this. Because I'm going to wind up using it to hang. The, uh, the light so I don't have to just throw it on the ground. Now you gotta stay away from those two right there are hot. This one this one here is not. This one won't bother me. That's grounded. Those two are hot. Even though I turned it off down below. But they're far enough out there I should be able to stay away from them. I'm just wrapping this around one time because this light doesn't weigh that much, so not a big deal. I'll take the wire nuts off. What I really hate about ladders is that I have to keep myself grounded. Look, I got my hands on this thing here. There's nothing I can do about it.
any of you guys that saw me doing electric jobs in the house where I used my fingers for a tester or I worked something live well that ain't gonna happen when I'm in this condition ain't no way now these wire nuts they work I'm not gonna keep them though I got new ones in my pocket I don't know what you can see and I apologize for that but I'm trying to bob my head up and down if you saw my video on these glasses you'll know I can see what I'm doing on an iPhone or an iPad or any kind of smartphone that's hooked up to it but how who's going to hold that for me where I can see it that's why I don't use that I brought a 3 8 and a 10 millimeter I think the 3 8 is the one that fits I got that top bolt out got the wires loose oh this is terrible because I am Oh, I hate this. I had to let go of the ladder for a second. Well, before I come down, I brought a scotch Bright pad. It's not the green ones from the kitchen, but it does the same thing. I'm going to clean these wires off a little bit. And even though these don't have direct sunlight on them, the um, UVs are still getting to them. I'm going to wrap them up with some tape before I finish this job. Okay, this is the one that's the ground. That's the naked one. Both of these are white, but they're not supposed to be. This one's just a little bit whiter. So apparently this is the black one. I know somebody's going to tell me I'm not supposed to wire this this way. Put these wires out in the open like this. Supposed to be inside of a pipe. Well, sorry. It is what it is. Maybe if I had a bucket truck, I'd do it that way. Like the professionals that do this for a living, they got a bucket truck, they don't have to worry about fighting with this on a ladder. Alright, that'll help with that. Now I'm going to let this light down and bring it down with me. Before I go up there, I'm going to try to make sure that these are the same patterns. Exactly the same. Well, I could change those screws, but I'm not going to. I might change one on the top. I need to get a battery ratchet harbor's got them but they're a little pricey i think they're 100 bucks i forgot i don't use it often enough to really need it got it tightened down up there all those three screws now i'm gonna this wire off of here. I'm only grounding this because it's just what the rules say to do. Don't need it.
camera down below is on this too, but it probably can't see anything through my right arm right in the way. Let's see if I can find one more yellow wire nut. I knew I brought extras just in case I ran out. I mean, lost one while I was up here or had a broken one or whatever. Now I like to leave the softer wire a little bit longer and sticking out the top a little bit farther. I think it works out better for me that way. I'm not sure, but I think it does. And since the stranded wire that comes with the light is a lighter gauge, and it's certainly a lot softer to move around than the solid wire. That should be good there. No telling how many more years it's going to be before I get up here and do anything else with this. So I saw the wires were getting weathered. The solid wire, the hard wire going up here was getting weathered because it was exposed a little bit. Even though it doesn't have direct sunlight on it, the UVs still get it just from being out in daylight. Push that back. It's facing straight up again. I hope I didn't break any wires. Hope we're out of trouble there. Okay, get down from here. Okay, let's see if this works now. I'm going to turn it on. I don't know if we can see it turn on or not because it's got a, a photo sensor on it. Hey, looky there, it comes on. It'll go off here again in a second because it's outside. We already tested that on the table. See how long it takes for it to turn off. It's a good light though. It's going to be pretty bright, I think. There it goes.